there is no doubt that Herb King had a love affair with bridges. In particular, those located in the smaller towns of rural Tasmania. This is extremely fortunate as it has provided us with a wealth of images taken at highly recognisable landmarks. Herb's image of the Deloraine Railway Bridge over the Meander River was taken around 1922. So far in my journey, along with the catastrophic changes, I have discovered locations where hardly a stone has been turned. But the question remained, would I be greeted by catastrophe or by serenity on my visit to Deloraine in 2019? Firstly, let's pause briefly in 1986 when the Tasmanian Revisited Authors took their image of the railway bridge at Deloraine. Their image shows a smaller section of the bridge, shot from a closer, tighter angle to Herb's original. Once aligned as near as possible with Herb's image, we see the bridge in 1986 remains basically unchanged. Fast forward 30 years to 2019. Arriving in the town, crossing over the Meander River, I pulled up at the Deloraine train park. I was greeted by several well-fed ducks resting on the grassy embankment. The sun was shining, the river was running full and clear, spilling over the concrete weir. Well, I've just arrived in Deloraine. It's an absolutely beautiful day, uh, midsummer, mid to end summer's day in Tasmania. Behind me, I have the Deloraine Rail Bridge. This is the original bridge that featured in Herb's photo. I can't move any further because just to my uh, left here, there is a weir that is slippery and slimy and there's absolutely no way I'm going out onto there. So again, as part of this journey, I, at no point am I putting myself or my equipment at risk to get the shot. It's just not worth it. So sometimes I might be a bit off, I might get it almost right, uh, but there are reasons for it. Watched by an audience of local ducks, I carefully placed my tripod up at the very edge of the weir, being careful not to slip into the river. Using Herb's photograph as reference in my viewfinder, I lined up the live view and took my shot. So what is our story at the Deloraine Railway Bridge? Let's dive in and take a closer look. As far as the railway bridge itself is concerned, time has effectively stood still since 1922. The basic structure of the bridge appears not to have been rebuilt or modified in any significant way. It still features the same abutments and piers even the same curved steel panels that provide strong barriers along the side of the bridge. Underneath, the solid steel riveted girders have stood up to the test of time. Vegetation along the far riverbank has matured. Just the one fir tree of the original two is still standing. The old town hall, hidden behind these trees and bushes in 1922, has been extended and is now home to the Meander Valley Performing Arts Centre. The telegraph and power poles have been removed along the bridge, a technology that has been replaced in the 21st century. A simple hand-painted mural decorates the bridge abutment at the train park. Time appears to have stood still at the Deloraine Railway Bridge. 100 years on, we still have a fully functional railway bridge that remains relatively unchanged. But when we turn our gaze to the environment surrounding the bridge, that is where we can best observe the passage of time. The manicured riverbank now boasts a well-maintained lawn and tidy garden beds. A popular walking track runs alongside the river. Mature trees provide much needed shade in the park, with picnic tables and a covered barbecue area. A colourful playground is popular with young families. There is even an old train for the children to play on. No wonder the ducks love it here. <laughs> 